And now to another story you'll only see on Local 10 News. Invasive snails taking over South Florida neighborhoods. The island apple snail leaves behind hundreds of bright pink eggs at a time. And those masses have quickly become an infestation in South Florida City. Local 10's Andrew Perez tells us how experts and local leaders are dealing with the invasive creature. In plantation, the saying goes, the grass is greener. Well, it's also pretty pink, as we first showed you last week when we first aired our snail story. It's going to be like attack of the snails. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Not on the menu. Hundreds, thousands of tiny snail eggs. We have a, a house on the canal, so we've been seeing um, quite a few of them. I don't know where they're coming from because honestly, I hadn't even like noticed them. Some just learning about them. Others had no idea. These eggs come from giant apple or island apple snails. We've learned they're all over Broward County, actually. We found them in Coral Springs, Lauder Hill, Oakland Park. Once hatched, they grow. It's an invasive story. It's the same as iguanas, same as pythons, and we can only do so much. Plantation Mayor Nick Sordal says for years the city has been fighting off these invaders solo. It's a statewide problem, and so we've talked to the state, and the state says, look, again, it's an invasive species. You can only do so much, but we care greatly, so that's why we're frustrated. He says the city scrapes them off, but these invasive, non-native snails come back and overpopulate quickly. Experts say they were likely introduced from South America through the pet trade or for food, and someone eventually let them go. They compete with our native snails and have the potential to alter the habitat. Experts like Dr. Nathan Dorn with FIU says, they're not a cause for alarm just yet, but you should be careful when dealing with the eggs or the adults. Sometimes a species arrives and, and all of its negative effects aren't obvious uh, in the first two decades. We're just going to have to clear them every time we see them. We care greatly about what the city looks like. It's so important to our residents. A lot more studying needs to be done too. Environmental agencies also plan on helping out. Each one of those little beads, by the way, turn into these big guys right here. If you want to get rid of some of those egg clusters, it's really easy. You can just grab a tool or you can use your hand as long as you have a glove. They're all over this wall. You just take them off and you crush them and then just dispose of them. Plantation says it's sending crews once again back out to do that job all over again. That's the latest here in Plantation. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 Andrew. News.